All right, my sweet little Lucy girl has been helping me unload the car and unwrap all the presents. She's very interested in all the paper when it gets unwrapped, so she's here to help me with the haul video, which I really am not even sure, Lulu. I'm not sure where to start, Miss Lucy. I'm not sure. Okay, well, we'll start with this. You were interested in this. Beautiful Christmas pillow. Hand quilted, $2. Yes, thank you. I will take that. Okay, then this trio of wooden Christmas trees. How cute are those? Turn that one around. And I could even paint them. I don't know. But these are $4 for the set, which was pretty good. I'm going to set things on the floor so I don't break anything hopefully okay this sweet little purse little crocheted bag very vintage extremely clean on the inside I mean, it doesn't even look like it's been used ever two dollars for that this is the first thing you saw me pick up in the video they're just it's calico vintage vintage calico fabric leaves and somebody made this sweet piece so I felt like I needed to rescue it Lou I just did I found this nifty little like casserole keeper um handmade jobby that goes in there I guess and if you look really close look at that vintage fabric mushrooms ladybugs I know a certain Esther that may try to snag this but it was too cute not to pick up and I think this was also two two dollars two little Ziploc baggies full of linens here's the first one and it has a an onion I think lady maybe she's yeah, that's an onion, not garlic. And then a potato. And they are doing a square dance. That's what it says on the tea towel. And I went crazy over this. I think that is so cute. Um, and then, this one is, okay, hold on. I think it's inside out. I was trying to read the words backwards. It's a tea towel. And this one says, oh, stop it. Oh, my word. It's a tomato and a bell pepper, and they are doing the jitterbug. The jitterbug, oh my goodness. And then this other one, I don't know why they didn't put all three of them in the same baggie, but that's okay, because I was willing to pay for them. Um, here, a radish and a cucumber are doing the waltz. I mean, really doesn't get much more kitschy than that in my opinion <laughs> that's that's pretty that's pretty kitschy all right along the lines of along the lines of vintage um, fabric linens I got this whole bag of scraps why did you buy scraps Marsha well let me tell you because I have a ton of old vintage fabric, or have had a ton of old vintage fabric, that, um, so this fabric is probably from the 30s, I would say. This is old, it's already pre-cut for quilt pieces. You guys would not believe how people pay up for stuff like this. I saw the baggie of like, I want to say I put 20 um, little hexes, pre-cut hexes out of vintage fabric, and I sold it for $15. So this this bag um, that I paid $6 for, which does sound like a lot, but all of this is vintage fabric, and it's not easy to find, and so the people that are looking for it are definitely willing to pay up for it. <gasps> I haven't dug through this yet, y'all. Oh, my God. 
somebody had already started piecing some of it. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Very glad. Very glad I picked that up. Oh, here's some more. Yeah, so this bag of fabric, <laughs> this $6 bag of fabric, may end up paying for my entire haul today. That's just incredible. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you these guys. They're on the floor right now, so I don't want to break them. So it's a set of two of these. I don't know 100% what this material is, but I think it's shell. I think my mom and dad had some lampshades in the 80s made out of this shell. Okay, so it fits. It's got a little metal ring at the bottom. It fits down in this wooden base. So I'll put a little tea light in there. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting. Not very much, but you kind of get the idea. Very, very cool. So I got a set of two of those. Okay, so let me grab something from on the table. Don't worry, Mom. You're not getting it for Christmas. You told me no more tchotchkes. Even though I know roosters are your thing. Little rooster tray. I love the hand painted work on it. And then I turned it over and discovered that it's from Italy. So that's that's a win. I think I may have paid three dollars for this. This sweet little item was in the garage, actually in the storage shed out back. It has a velvet ribbon. It's a golden book. And you look at the top and it's got the kitty. I don't know what's that, 60s maybe? Wallpaper, a kitty with the flower arrangement, decoupage onto the front, and then you open it up. It came with the pens. Um, somebody has carved out the book um, and made it into like a sweet little tangle box. And I love it. It's made out of a real book. I needed to rescue it also in the garage was this and it said free and so I taught I took Jesus with me um, those of you who know me well know that I love this picture I have one of these almost exactly like this hanging in my craft room and I have one almost exactly like this hanging in my classroom at school so um i just didn't like seeing him out in the shed so he came with me some other little little gimme things this was 25 cents um they're little flowers made out of wood carved out of wood i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but for a quarter it needed to be rescued so it came with me um this sweet little dish felt like felt like really high quality and so I turned it over and it was made I don't know if I have that upside down sideways um it was made in Italy so it was a dollar you can't get anything like this from the Dollar Tree <laughs> for a dollar so I figure I picked this up this one as well sweet little hand painted trinket dish um ceramic Sevilla España so this one's from Spain. Oh wait, is this one from Spain too? I'm sorry. The rooster dish was from Italy. These two guys are from Spain. So I don't know if the little lady whose estate sale I was at did some traveling and maybe just her souvenirs, but I thought they were really sweet for a dollar a piece. So I snagged them for two dollars. I couldn't help but snag these cuties. They're so fat and cute salt and pepper shakers. No chips, no cracks, nothing's wrong with them. Rigor is the brand on the bottom, which I have no idea what that is, but I thought they were really sweet. So, $2. Yes, thank you for pick those up. I found these also out in the little workshop. Uh, $2 for the bundle. If you don't know what these are, they're purse handles for making like macrame purses, or you could just even do macrame um, wall hangings. 
stuff like that. So I will probably list these on Etsy because that seems like the right place to put something like this for people who are crafty and need supplies like that. They also sold me three bundles of dowel rods. Look how thick those suckers are. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but dowel rods are expensive and I got a whole bag of them. I think they actually ended up throwing these in for free at the end, so a win. All right, now the rest of my haul was what I was super, super, super giddy about because it's all vintage Christmas. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this little dude. Look at those eyes, isn't he fun? So I had a set of three of these guys. They're not, it's marked 1990 and it has somebody's name on it. So I think it's just a, a just a handcrafted piece, but I had a set of three of these that I found, I don't know, somewhere along the way, and they sold for $40. So, and they weren't as bright and, and happy and cute as he is. So I don't know how much money he's gonna bring me, but I think I paid $2 for him. So whatever you do, it will be appreciated. Okay, so I got him, then, I got this other carved little Santa. Look at the details. Can you see the details on him? Look at him. He's so cool. And he's all kind of serious and stoic, but he's got a teddy bear, <laughs> which I think is great. He's signed on the bottom. Looked at the signature. It's, I haven't been able to find anything on it, but you can tell it's high quality and whoever did it was super proud to put their name on the bottom and I would have been too. I think he's beautiful. Oh, I'm so tempted to keep him. We'll see. We'll see. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. So we'll see. She had a tongue in avoiding the Santa thing. So here's another one. <laughs> Look at his fat belly. Oh my goodness. The little patches painted on. Paint job is super high quality. Uh, I just think he's he's really cute. His little face down in there. So somebody did a really good job making him. He has a nine dollar price tag on the bottom of him. So somebody at one point paid nine dollars for him. I don't. I don't. I probably paid three because you know I don't pay more than five dollars unless it's just amazing. Unless it's just outstanding. All right. So. After finding the Santa, I went to the other room and I found this cutie pie who looked a lot like the Santa Claus in shape, his lovely pear shape. This one is made out of wood. However, this one is not. It's made out of glass. So I looked at it for a second and then I peeked under his hat. Y'all, he's a light bulb. He's a light bulb bird. <laughs> is he not precious? Look at his face. I paid 50 cents for this. And um, I think he's gonna live with me. I think he's gonna stay with me. Okay, another wooden Santa. Check this guy out. And his arms move. Now his eye is a little derpy, I'm not gonna lie to you. But he's very primitive and just, you can't just pop over to your local store and find something with this kind of age and this quality. So, again, $2 Santa. Hopefully, he'll find a good home. All right. Here's another little cutie pie. Again, these, his eyes are a little lopsided. I think that makes him charming. You're charming, you little lopsided nutcracker. Um, so he's got his little, oops, nutcracker mechanism. And his arm fell out, and thank, his arm fell out at the estate sale too. And thankfully, I found it before I left. So, I may put a little dab of wood glue in his arm hole. So yeah, even the top of him is wood. I just think he's super cute. Look at his little mouth. His little mouth. So sweet. Again, I can't be tempted to keep people. I've got to go to another home. Okay, so this was a baggie full of different things. Um, it was $4 for the bag. I did not open it up at the store or at the sale, and I haven't opened it up yet. 
So we're gonna look at it together for the first time. Okay, so this is like a little wizard Santa. <laughs> What's he got going on? I don't know how I feel about that, but okay. Um, he's a trinket box, it looks like. He's got a hinged base. So that's that's kind of nifty. I don't know. Somebody might dig him. Somebody might be into that. Um, what? He's a bowling pin. Santa? Carved out of wood. All right. All right, who's this? Well, he's a little cutie. Look at this little cute fella with his ax going to chop down a tree. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, he's cute. Doesn't have any markings on him. Don't know who he is, but he's precious. Okay, Santa on a, on a wheelie thing. I don't know, somebody had a 50 cent mark on this, but he was in the baggie. Oh, look at his face. Oh, nice, nice schnoz you got going on there, Santa Claus. He's cute. Okay, he's a good one. He's a keeper. It's just a random little tree. Maybe this is the one the little boy's going to cut down. I don't know. Need of wood. Oh, <laughs> here's a cone head, Santa. He's old. has a dollar on him, but he was in the bag. This may be a hobbyist piece. It has like a little bitty signature on the bottom, but I don't know. I like him. He's pretty neat. He's nice and he's kind of small. I'm holding him up to the camera so he looks really big. But he's cute. I like him. Oh, there's another one similar, similar in type to him. So those two, don't they look? They look similar to me. 92, okay, so this one has the same little signature on it, but this is 1992. So these little, these little ceramic guys have made it a while. Good job. Way to not get broken. Oh, and then here's their, here's their taller big brother. So <laughs> there's three. He have a little nick on his nose. He looks like he does have a little, little chippy on his nose, but those are pretty fun. Okay, patriotic, whoop, <laughs> patriotic, primitive looking Santa. Okay, this was a craft project. You wanna know how I know? Look at his legs. I used to make lots of little dolls out of wooden, those pens when I was a little girl. So I recognize it when I see it, but I really love the age, the age on this guy. He's not super big either, but it's a whole bag of Santa Claus. How fun. Here's a little gnome-like one. He's a little cutie. He's, he's very small. He's very small. Um, hey, what? Okay. This also looks like a little craft project. Stay with me, y'all. Doesn't that look like two little terracotta pots, maybe three, stacked on top of each other and somebody went crazy with some spray foam or something? <laughs> but he's cute. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, boy. No. I'm not sure what's going on here. Santa is waving like he's the queen of the universe, but he's got a broken... A broken wing. He's very small. Look how tiny he is. Alright, a couple more things in here. That's it. The smallest of them all. The smallest of them all. Look at him. He's so tiny. He's so cute. I don't know what this is. I don't know, a couple of old buttons just got worn a little in the back, I guess. Okay, and last but not least is this guy who look All right, another little cool painted Santa ornament. Um, 
interesting, interesting shape. His, um, his belt is actually like a cut groove in the side, but, um, He's just fun, and whoever painted these did a really great job. Okay, and last but not least is this guy who looks like he could be something important. I don't, he looks like pottery that's been um, salt glazed or something. I'm not really sure. And then the bottom of him, this is 1990. So somebody, somebody took their time on this guy, and he's also a lot bigger. So that whole bag of all those little Santa Clauses was four dollars. So I think that that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Some more Ziploc baggies, vintage felted Santa. Let's pull him out. I haven't pulled him out now. Is he a puppet? What is he? I think he might be a puppet. He's got paper inside of him, but you can put him on top of a bottle or something. Look how cute he is. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Lucy's moved to the, <laughs> to the other side of the couch. She's looking at me like I'm crazy. I not be wrong. Okay, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. It's a light switch cover that somebody has beaded. Y'all, they have sewn all of those on there. So I got Santa and the amazing, amazing beaded Christmas tree birth ball. And then I got another bag that looks very similar. So let's see what's in this one. We got a funny little penguin, little painted penguin. Somebody hot glued a pin on the back of him. I can't really tell what he's made out of. He's like a really stiff cardboard. He's cute. Another Santa puppet, mitten puppet. So those are really, really sweet vintage thing. Okay. Another bag with more Santas. I don't know if that was like a, like a, a something you use for a coat rack. Like a, a, not a finial, but you know what I'm saying. But somebody did an excellent job painting him. Look at his detailed face. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, he's got a brother. I love the little the little ball on the top. <laughs> he looks Scottish. He's cute. Okay, um they have a they have another brother. Look at that face. That's really great. Okay, let's see what this one is. Another Scottish brother. Those are fantastic. I love them so much. Okay, and the last two things in the bag are these two patriotic looking Santas and they are, I remember a long time ago I had a jump rope that had handles like this, so I don't really know I don't really know what these are. They may be spools of some kind. They may be the ends of an old jump rope. <laughs> I don't know. But somebody painted those. I just think those are really, really neat. All right. We continue on. We continue on. Found these really um, unusual candlesticks. They're actually they're actually wooden. They're not made of candle. They're not made of wax, rather. But they look like it. So they're just decorative. Okay, now, the thing I was the most excited about is what we're going to dive into now. I went out in the garage, and you saw some stuff in the video hanging up that looked like this. So, first of all, I saw kinds of Christmas crazy going on right there, but if you just take in the workmanship, it's a beautiful, like, granny square variation Christmas stocking handmade somebody made and then all of these little ornaments on here are handmade as well the frog is killing me okay so i purchased five of these look at this oh wait look at him look his eyes have even been sewn on somebody stitched those eyes on there look at the camel 
his eyelashes are on fleek. Okay, so I purchased five of these. All five of them were full of ornaments. So when I got home, I took the ornaments off of them. Um, I'm gonna use the ornaments separately, but I have been looking for vintage stockings for a very long time. This angel, I still gotta get her off of there. But all, all five of them just had all kinds of different, different um, handmade. So not all of them were handmade. Some of them were store bought, but all of them had. Um, look, at, gosh, look at this one. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it's just like it's covered. It's just oh my goodness. So I have to. I'm gonna have to take all these little guys off here. Some of these are little Hallmark ornaments. Each stocking was four dollars a piece, but it came with a ton of ornaments on it. Like I said, okay, look at this Santa. Very well crafted. He has a twin brother. So I got those two. Okay, I think we saw one just like this a second ago. And we got another one. So we got several of those. We have a few little crocheted mice. The lady whose sale this was, um, collected mice. That was her that was her little thing that she collected. It was cute. Look at him. His little blue eyes, sequin blue eyes. We have a seal. We have a snowman. We have a 1982 bell. <laughs> um, there's a couple, couple, of more, couple of more mice. This one lost his nose. He reminds me of that um, Looney Tunes from, you know, that would put on a top hat and say one thing that would be around. But then when people came back, he'd just be like, we're a bit, we're a bit. And when people left, he'd be, hello, my honey, hello, my baby, hello, my ragtime gal. That's, that's, I'm probably going to keep this one because of that. Had a bunch of angels of different types, sizes, shapes. So all in all, there's probably about 50 ornaments over here. I'm not going to show you all of them, but some Thai bears were on it. Uh, a Thai penguin was on it. Um, this pretty hand-painted girl with strawberries on her dress was on it. Um, and then there was a little um, Boyd's bear. Like, I love the little Boyd's bear. This is a Boyd's bear pen. It has a little symbol on the back. So, yeah, I think that's all. But what a fun sale. What a fun sale. I got out of there for $100. Um, like I said, I may I may be able to make that $100 back just on the vintage fabric. So I'm very, very excited. And I'm ready to decorate for Christmas now. It's time. And some of these may end up staying with me for a little while. But we'll see. All right. Thanks for watching.